how to take your nails from drab to fab in no time at all. Stay tuned and you'll see how to pamper yourself as well. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little pamper session. As you can see my nails look absolutely horrible and believe it or not this is two weeks worth of growth. I use my hands for a lot of things and they end up pretty pretty smashed. So what I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to first take off all the nail polish, file them down and prep my nails before I give them a little pampering session. So you can see me here just taking off the nail polish and don't worry, my nails are healthy, it's just they're yellow because of the nail polish. We're going to take this tool and we're going to push back the cuticle. Please be careful with this, I have cut myself before because I'm a bit of a brute, but just be careful, take the excess skin from your nail bed off. After you've finished uh, pushing or, and taking off the excess skin from your nail bed, just go lightly with a brush and take off that skin off your fingers. We're then going to lightly uh, file our nails. Now, I usually like to use a glass nail file for natural nails, and I strongly advocate uh, glass nail files for nails. But to be fair, I needed to take off a little bit of nail and the, this emery one was a bit quicker. I'm taping the sides a bit as well, just to sort of keep them... Um, leaning towards each other a little bit on the sidewalls so that they don't break as often. Now, funnily enough, the only two nails that break the most for me are my thumbs. The rest of the nails, still intact, which is perfect. Now, if you are not new to my channel, you will know that my index finger grows wonky. For those of you who don't know, I used to wear a lot of acrylic nails and I split the index finger once and it's never grown properly it grows split so i do have to use a bit of dip powder just to maintain that nail the length that i want um i only use dip powder on this nail and if any other break i will use it just to maintain the length so i don't have to cut them all the same length and short and dip powder for me is the best solution because it's quick it's easy and i like it and i keep them filed out now for the pampering session. This is a bath powder and it's from a local lady who makes these um, all natural and she makes them handmade by Cherry Kiss. It is a bath powder but I will use it to soak my hands because, I mean, your hands go in the bath as well. It's a fizzy one and I love it. It smells gorgeous and I wish you could smell it. So I'm going to soak my hands in it just to relax a bit. I did keep them on for longer than you will see in the video and you can keep them as long as you want or you can even do this in the bath. I just did it on this obnoxiously green um, little bucket thing. After I soaked them, I got this scrub from the same person from Cherry Kiss and it smells like mango and it's like a sugar scrub and it releases all these natural oils that she uses and there it's amazing. I absolutely love it. Now it is a body scrub. I am using it on my hands and I'm going quite gentle, although it doesn't look like I'm going gently, but I am going very gently on my hands and it's just to take the dry skin away and because I use a lot of alcohol on my hands daily, Obviously, there's a pandemic going on. Um, they just take a massive beating. So now I'm going to wash that scrub off and it leaves this amazing natural oils. And my hands are so smooth. You can see how hydrated they are, they are by the end of this. I mean, look at these hands now. They're nice and hydrated. They're smooth. They're silky. And they're ready to get painted now. Not the hands, the nails. Anyway. We're going to take a cotton pad and we're going to put some nail polish remover without acetone and go lightly over the nail bed just to de dehydrate the nail bed a bit so that the nail polish will adhere. I'm taking my favorite base coat by China Glaze and we're going to put one layer over all our nails to start with. If you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate if you liked, comment and subscribe to my channel. The colour I've chosen is by China Glaze and it's a red with some gold and silver flakes of glitter. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is one of my favourites and I don't usually like glitter polishes. And this one is just gorgeous. It looks as if the glitter is like layered into the polish rather than sitting on top of it. I love it. I love the look of this. And with a glossed coat over it, it looks amazing. 
So I'm doing two layers of this polish because I think it looks fantastic with two layers of polish. Do you have any favorite nail polishes or glitter nail polishes? Let me know in the comment section below. We are going to finish this manicure by placing your favorite top coat, making that glitter pop. And that's it. That's all. I wish the camera picked up how gorgeous the glitter looks in the light. But the photo will really, really show how nice it is. I mean, look at that layered glitter. I absolutely love it. So if you really like this video, I would love for you to um, comment, like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.